congratulations on being named a hometown hero for Gateway Community College's Hall of Fame. Tell us a little bit about Claire's Cornucopia and about Claire. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Brown. This is a, a real privilege. I appreciate it. Um, we started Claire's in 1975, my husband and I. I was newly out of college with a degree in nursing, but I realized that I really preferred prevention. I saw what people were eating and I thought, Dressings should be made from scratch. Soups should be made from scratch. Bread should be kneaded with flour and yeast and water. And I was shocked by what was out um, in the public <laughs> because I basically had all eaten in my house primarily. So we decided it, we wanted to be together, my husband and I, and I wanted to cook. And that's really pretty much how we started Claire's Cornucopia. Besides being a business owner in New Haven, you are extremely dedicated to the community and various causes. Tell us a, a little bit about your involvement. Well, I love my community. Um, who would it? <laughs> we have this wonderful mix of people in New Haven in our community, and we have a mix of needs. And I saw it early on when people started coming to me um, who were on boards or worked for the New Haven Project for Better Women was the first one. And I became involved there, and I saw that I could help. Um, and then I think the next one might have been, um, oh, children in placement for kids in the foster care system. And I knew that I couldn't be a guardian ad litem because I would just probably spend my days crying. Um, but I could help them raise funds. So my friend and I, Dottie Weston Murphy and I created the Cooking for Casa. So we decided instead we could help them by raising lots of money for their causes. So I'm a big fan of prevention. I like, I like New Haven Reads. I love New Haven Reads because it's one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I like programs that help children because that's really our future. And if we don't invest in our children, we don't invest in our future. Simple as that. Claire's has a special relationship with Gateway Community College. Talk about your involvement with the school's community. Gosh, um, I, I'm so happy that Gateway has moved downtown. Um, we, I think I first got involved, I was thinking about that, and I think I first got involved when you used to do these wonderful parties. I was telling my staff about it today when we met for lunch. Um, you had these parties, like a, it was a Christmas party, and it was for people who lived in shelters and their children, but it was a real party. I mean, it was a party like kids who have two working parents who have very good jobs to get to go to. So they had, not only did they have a beautiful, a beautifully cooked dinner, sit down and served, um, but we also had Santa Claus and toys for every child and gifts. We also had a store and in that store, and I'm talking not a bunch of clothes thrown in a bag, but a store that looked like I don't know, maybe a cross between Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus, where you had racks and you had different signs telling them where the different sizes and items were. But every child and parent got to pick a winter coat brand new and boots and gloves. That was my first introduction. And that was enough to make anybody on fire. I mean, it was just a beautiful night. And that was the beginning. And then Mary Ellen Cody helped me out, bailed me out one time when I called begging to get some help for one of my staff who is a DACA student who missed some deadline and was not gonna be able to matriculate. And I thought, this can't happen, this would be terrible. And she helped me out. And then Dave McCourt bailed me out with Sheena when I was desperate for a dishwasher one day. And she is my reason why I often think, help somebody when you can, because you never know when you're gonna have an impact on someone's life when they really need it. Because I never realized the impact I made on her life until I read about it and what she wrote in her college graduation piece, piece which was really touching. But, um, and she's a great kid. I mean, but here's, if, you, if we could just help somebody a little bit, and Gateway does this all the time by preparing your students, by working with them, by caring for them. Um, that makes a difference in a child's life, especially, you know, some children more than others, as we know. But it, it works with the whole philosophy of, don't leave a child behind because we need, we don't have such an exceptional amount of extra goodness in this world. So we need all we can get and keep it going. And, and we appreciate your joining with us to serve our students as, as well as our, our communities. What advice would you give to graduating Gateway students preparing to enter a world much different than the one they're leaving? First of all, be really grateful because yes, we have lost a lot and yes, we're wearing masks. But I think that if we're alive, 
then we still have a chance for something better. And also read your history. We got through, well, not we personally, but others got through 1918 pandemics and SARS and, and, and fires and tornadoes and hurricanes. And, and I don't think anyone gets from point A to point B without losses. But we also don't get, thankfully, we don't get from point A to point B without a lot of gains. And I think just taking the good from it. You could find good every single day because it's there. You just have to look for it because it's there. And what does it mean to you to be honored as a gateway hometown hero? I'm very proud. I feel a little bit guilty. I was likening it to getting an award for crossing the street at the walk sign because I just feel like I've been given so much. I mean, I'm the daughter of a cleaning lady. I live in the beautiful house that my mother cleaned. That was my dream house as a kid. And I'm just giving some of the extra that's been given to me. And that's what we're here for. Well, thank you for all of your work with us, uh, with the community, uh, and congratulations again on being named a hometown hero for Gateway's Hall of Fame. Thank you so much.